horrific catastrophes happen on land as well. A terrible wide-scale floods happen because of... Terrible wide-scale floods happen because of... Rains! Rains! That's nonsense! <laughs> what was that noise? <gasps> you shouldn't throw books. Sam, what happened? I'm sorry, Susie, but the books said... <laughs> what, Sammy? Tell me. Susie, the book says that rains can cause destruction. That's nonsense. How can drops break anything? They're so small. No, Sammy, you're wrong. Water has great power. I don't believe you. Even this small amount of water in your cup has great power. A science called hydraulics studies that. A real science? What does it study exactly? It tells us how to use the power of water to help people to build, carry weights. Carry weights? That's ridiculous. What can this cup do? Choose something on this table. Well, let your water try and lift at least that bottle. All right, Sammy. I'll show you how this small amount of water can lift this bottle higher than you. I'll show you the magic of science. Susie! Hi, guys. Today, we'll tell you about hydraulics and assemble a robotic arm that will work with the help of water. Wait! I brought you something! What? Batteries? What for? I've heard that we're making a robot arm today. You can't do without batteries and electricity. Thanks, Sammy, but we won't need batteries. Like I said, water has its own power, and if we use it correctly, the robot arm will work without electricity. <laughs> we'll see how your robot's going to work without my batteries. That's very bold of you. Guys, we're really going to do without batteries. Our arm is going to work only on water, and hydraulics is going to help us with that. If you've already heard about it, give a thumbs up, and I'll explain how it works. Hydraulics studies the power of water. People have been using it since ancient times, before they invented electricity. If you use this science correctly, even one syringe of water can do many things. We're going to need syringes, cardboard, a glue gun, four glasses of colored water, a pencil and a ruler, pliers, cutters, infusion tubes, a drill, clamps from a hardware store, and... Hi, George! Enemy is down! You're a real warrior, Sammy. Thanks for bringing the skewers. You're welcome, Susie. I'm not only a warrior, but also a great expert on robot building, even hydraulic ones. How's it coming? Okay, guys, the tools are on the table. The expert's also here. Let's get started. First, we need to cut out cardboard pieces. This is the base of our hydraulic arm. First, we'll draw the lines to cut along them. Let me note, as an expert, that first you need to draw not only lines to cut along, but the whole draft. Yes, but we won't waste time on that. This robot arm isn't so difficult. Let's cut the pieces neatly along the lines. Guys, be very careful with the cutter. You'd better ask an adult to help. <gasps> this looks great! It's time to use the drill. We need to make holes like these. Beautiful sounds. Music to my ears. Real music indeed. A bit of magic. <gasps> Guys, we need pieces like the ones you see now on the table. What table? This is the construction site of the new, unique, amazing hydraulic robot arm number one in the galaxy. Oh, great name, Mr. Expert. Now please move aside. Fine, but keep in mind that you're under strict supervision of a hydraulic robot expert. I will, Sammy. And we'll continue. We need to insert the skewers in a certain way, connecting pairs of cardboard pieces, like this. We'll cut one skewer. <gasps> oh, that clipper is so sharp. Be careful. And secure it with glue. There. And we'll attach two shorter pieces on the other end. The process is similar. Then I'll secure them with small squares to help the structure move. Hmm. Yep. Something like that. Look, guys, there should be space for syringes between the pieces. Now, let's assemble the base for our arm. These will be the supports. We'll attach them on both sides and secure them with cardboard squares. There it goes. Ta-da! We'll need hot glue to attach the base. Guys, be very careful with the glue gun. And here comes the base. A gun? Nonsense. A 
Happy hour! That's what real heroes choose. Oh, you're a weapon expert, too. Guys, look what we made. Our future arm should move like this. Sturdy and elegant. Now, we need to make holes in syringes. Like this. Ask an adult to help you with this step. We'll need the clamps now. What's that, Susie? That's a clamp, Sammy. They can be found in a hardware store. It's a very useful thing for building hydraulic robot arms. We need to secure the clamps on the syringe. Like this. And tighter. And we'll insert a skewer into the second loop to adjust it. Let's remove the skewer for now and cut off the excess. Remember, guys, don't cut yourselves. All right, guys, time to attach the syringe to our structure. Carefully insert the skewer through the walls and the opening in the syringe. Do the same with the second skewer and the clamp loop. Attach the second syringe in the same way. Voila! Moving on. We'll need these cardboard pieces for the arm itself. Pause the video to write down the measurements. First, we'll bend metal rods with the help of pliers to get this kind of hook. Once again, it's a step that requires adult supervision. Be careful! Can't do it! You're so strong, Sue! Aw, thanks, Sammy! Let's insert the hook into the last opening. Take it slow here. Now, let's skewer the foot and the square. This looks a bit like a canopy. Click and a drop of glue. There! That's what we should get, guys. Isn't that difficult? What do you say, Sammy? Right. An expert inspection has confirmed it. This part is assembled correctly. Good job, Sue. And this is your payment for the first part of the project. Thanks, Sam. We've got more work ahead of us. Let's not wait and start working on the rest of our robot. I'm watching you. Sammy, now I need your help. As usual. What's the matter? I need a stick from this ice cream. Can you eat it and give the stick to me? Okay, I'll help you, Susie. You can't do without me. Oh, great ice cream. Always happy to help, Sue. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. I can always count on you. We need to bend this cardboard piece with this stick. Like this. And make holes with a skewer. One. And... Two. Now, let's connect them to the grabbing mechanism with skewers. And done! We only need to apply strips of glue onto the fingers of our robot. We need that to make sure the items don't slip off. Now, let's connect both parts of the structure. We need the glue gun again. And we remember to use the glue carefully, right? <laughs> And then we'll connect the pieces. Nice and slow. This is what you should get. Great, now on to the final part. That's not all. Endless construction, endless. I'm so tired. Oh, Sammy, we're almost done. You can rest. Oh, you'll be in charge then. I won't let you down. I'll secure the syringe right here. Great, it fits. We've made openings in the plunger in advance. And now we'll insert the metal rods here. Now we only need to make the base. Wow, our robot arm is coming out so big! To make the structure sturdy, we'll need a sturdy base made of two thick cardboard pieces. Let's apply some glue onto one of them. A thin strip along the surface should be enough. And press the other piece well. <sighs> Done! Easy peasy! Now we need to secure the arm on the stand. Huh. How should I do it? Something's missing. Hmm, maybe this? Or this? Uh, wait, that's what I need. Batteries. What? What? Batteries? You said we didn't need them. Sam, well, you're the expert here and you were right. We need the batteries, but we won't use them the usual way. Not the usual way. Then how? Oh, I see. <laughs> that's very clever, Sue. <laughs> yes, Sammy. We needed the batteries, but not for the motor. We'll use water as the motor. The more you talk about it, the weirder it sounds. Guys, I made this piece. It will move our base around. Let's set it here. Let's assemble the robot control panel. We need to connect the piece made of two sticks with the syringe using a skewer. Like this. Let's attach four of these on the panel. One by one. 
We'll secure the tip of the syringe with a metal arc. This is what we should get. And now I'll show you how it works. Sam, give me a glass of water, please. I'm the boss here, actually. Oh, I remember, boss. Let's get some water into the syringe. And connect a tube to it. It's very delicate work. Now, let's move the water to the other end of the tube. And connect it to the other syringe. There. That's the magic of water, guys. <laughs> now, let's connect the control panel and the arm the same way. We'll attach each colored tube to the syringes on the arm. Why all these colors, you may ask? <laughs> That's simple. Each syringe moves a certain part of the robot arm. And the colors make it easier to remember which syringe controls which part. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh! <gasps> Look! Sammy! The motor of our robot is a hydraulic press! Water makes it move! Wow! So cool! <sighs> wow! <laughs> wow, Susie! I can't believe my eyes! And no batteries needed! Please, now lift the bottle! Let's try it, Sam! Yes, Susie! Push the syringes! Let's lift this bottle finally! Our colorful <laughs> control levers move perfectly. Move to the right, left. Come on! Is it really happening? Yay! Yes! We control water! Yes, Sam! We can use this robot when we run out of all the batteries in the house. I doubt it, Sue. I always have a stash. Guys, if you liked our video, give a thumbs up. Not only will you support Sam, but also that will help millions of other kids around the world discover our channel and fall in love with it just as much as you. And now, let's get started with the next craft. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. da da ba da da I have no idea why you're so happy. It's the same thing each year. I've had enough. Sam, are you for real? It's Christmas. Look how pretty it is. We can decorate everything. <laughs> Isn't it great? By the way, guys, what does your Christmas tree look like? Artificial or real? <laughs> right in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fun and everything, but I want something new. New? Like what? Something with lights! Huh. And... And... Uh, <gasps> moving! <laughs> huh. Well, actually, I've got an idea for a craft like that. I don't have time to make it yet. What craft? What? Tell me! Try to guess. It spins, looks like a mill, and gives electricity. Uh... What? <laughs> Come. I'll show you. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, how you doing? Go on, tell me about your Christmas mill. Oh, Christmas mill. I like it. Here, um, take a look at this. Do you know what this is? Yes, yes, of course. But, uh, tell me. I'll see if you're right. No, no, Mr. Sly Slime. Wait until we make the whole project and you'll know. Guys, if you know what this is, write in the comments. Fine. I don't know what you're gonna do, but I can help, right? I really want to see the result! Sure. Here. Got it. And no words needed. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Guys, while Sam is cutting out the cardboard pieces, we'll prepare the base. 35 centimeters in diameter. We'll make a house with cozy lights inside. And it'll stand on these wooden legs, five centimeters long. I made them out of ordinary black pencils. Make sure to ask an adult to help you when you cut the sticks. Be very careful. Same goes for hot glue. 
we need to place our sticks just like this to make sure our house is sturdy. There, one stick after another. And done. Our house is going to have a pretty lawn. By the way, guys, you can use velvet cardstock instead of moss, and the result will be just as pretty. See? <laughs> so, but there should be snow in the winter, not green grass. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. You'll have your snow. All right. This is the base we've made so far. And soon, I'll need the cardboard pieces. Yes, yes, I've almost got it ready. Take this for now. Oh, thank you, Sam. Look, guys, here are all the measurements. It's the floor of our house. Let's attach it to the pencil base. And don't forget about the stairs. It's too high to climb. The one who suggests it makes it. <laughs> I was hoping for that. Really? Uh, all right, then. Here are the rest of the cardboard pieces, and I'm off to make my stairs masterpiece. I wonder if Sam just wants to see the final result so badly, or if he's really happy to help. In any case, I'll make walls for our house from the pieces Sam prepared. Here's what we made so far. There's a special opening in this wall. You'll soon see what it's for. And here we have a window and a door. I decorated them to make them look like the real thing. Let's add a little curtain on the window to make it even more cozy. There, ta-da! Here, here, one more very real thing. Wow, Sammy, what incredible stairs! And so fast! Well, first of all, you're not the only one who has secret projects. And it's magical time now! So everything becomes possible, even stairs like this. Hmm, no arguing there. How does it look? Huh, huh? Great! So, uh. Susie, I thought you said something about cozy lights in the house, but, uh, I can't see it! Even the bulbs. Huh. Well, here are the bulbs. So small. Well, the house isn't very big. Yes! We'll insert these two bulbs into this little box. It'll be a lamp. And there. Let's attach the box onto the window. There. And this bulb will light your wonderful stairs, Sammy. That's right. I approve. Let's cover the bulb with a cardboard piece. It'll look like a street lantern. And, uh, what's this for? <laughs> it's for the motor. There. We need to insert it into the opening. And what is the motor for? You'll see when we assemble the next piece. First, we'll need three cardboard circles, 2.5 centimeters in diameter. Hmm, interesting. Let's glue them together. A few drops should do it. One, two, three, four. Sammy, you can bring me a cardboard strip in the meantime. Okay? Will do. Huh, a cardboard strip. Huh? Oh. Sammy, how's it going? Here, though it wasn't easy to find a small strip on a big table. Well, I know that you're the master of searching, so that's why I asked. Yes, yes, I'm sure you can easily remember the videos where I searched for something. You're always searching for something. <laughs> all right, I applied some glue all over this piece to make it sturdier. So now, on to the next pieces. Let's take this rectangle. 6.5 by 2.5 centimeters. We need to cut out a small triangle on one end. Be careful with the scissors, as always. So now we need to bend this piece like this, just a bit. And we're going to need three more like this. Oh, Sue, I love it when you do this. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Can you do the same to candy to make a lot of candy appear? 
Sam, we already have lots of candies. Why should we spend magic on that? Oh, there can't be too many candies. They, well, they tend to run out. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. Candies can't be the only thing that makes you happy. Uh, what else? Well, crafts, for example. Just look at this awesome thing. Oh, just like a mill. Almost. Let's attach it to the motor. Like this. Now we need to connect the wires carefully. Ask an adult to help you with this. I remember! We need to watch out for polarity! That's right, Sammy. Look. We connect these wires here and these wires here. Uh, is it done? I still don't get it. No, Sammy. Not done. We need to set the roof. And you can bring me a hair dryer. Susie, what do you need the hair dryer for? No guesses? No. All right, watch. Imagine that it's a natural wind. Uh, oh, wow! It's a wind turbine! Yes! That's right, Sammy! The propeller rotates under the wind and it creates electricity! Oh, no, Susie! Stop! Huh? We still need to add something. <laughs> what? Follow me! Now that's what I'm talking about! Yes, Sam! That's a great idea! I think that first, we need to add a bit of snow. Oh, of course! No Christmas without snow! And we'll paint the roof purple! Uh -huh. Yep, there! Uh -huh. It'll be really festive and beautiful now! Oh, yes, yes, yes! And while you were painting the roof, I painted the propeller. Great, Susie! Continue! <laughs> this is so much fun! This is such a festive house! Susie! Do you wanna build a snowman? Sam, did you know that some countries don't get snow at all? Of course I did! I'm a very experienced traveler. Once I celebrated Christmas under a palm tree. Oh. Wow! I'd like you to tell me about it sometime. Sure, Sue! And now, I've got an idea! Wait here! Something else? It's beautiful already. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Here! Look! Let's place the candies around the house so that everyone can see them and can take as many as they like. Oh, Sammy! You're so generous! Thank you! It is the holidays after all. Candies and decorations! Oh, yeah! I love Christmas! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Sue! You're my best friend! Merry Christmas, Sammy! You're my best friend, too! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Give us a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends! Have a wonderful new year! Happy New Year, guys! Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. We promise to bring you even more amazing videos next year! See you in the new year!